Welcome to Reread. We're going through the Legacy series by John Ostrander. We're on issues 22 to 27 here. And uh, 22, Crate and the Sith attack them on Calamari, and the Imperial Knights come to the rescue. Uh, meanwhile, Stasi agrees to meet with Thale to talk about a potential alliance to go against the Sith. Now, poor Mon Calamari. They cannot text, uh, take a, uh, uh, catch a break, right? Uh, the Emperor <clears throat> is really unkind to them by destroying the planet with the world devastators. There's tons of other uh, things that happen in the Marvel comic books where there's a, ton a big war going on. And it seems like the planet is constantly under fire and constantly in turmoil. There are persecuted species, and now the Sith are on to them. And there's going to be a lot of Mon Calamari action going on later on. But anyway, uh, Cade and Delia Blue make up in this issue, and they're on and off again because Cade has many love interests. And the Sith, uh, Darth Talon, he was caught kissing on a secret camera. Delia caught him, and you know he apologizes to her. They kind of make up, and it looks like they're a couple again. And I didn't realize in the series as a whole how many times Kate actually kind of leaves or kind of cheats on Delia, but he's not a nice guy. So I guess, you know, that's who he is. But it's also the first appearance of Bantha. Um, they just mention him, I think, and show his face. But then in issue 24, you get to see way more of him. And it gives him kind of a background. He used to be Nat Skywalker, uh, brother of Cole Skywalker. And, uh, it also has a, a bounty hunter who's a new character, Aslan, who is a friend of Cade's. You know, she tracks Cade down to turns not to turn him over the Empire and let him escape because the Empire was coming to collect him, but they kind of escape the Empire and move on. Uh, but Aslan is an old friend, an old girlfriend of uh, Cade. So just as he started making out with Delia Blue, here he is flirting with Aslan now. But again, remember, Cade's not the best example of who a person should be. Aslan is another interesting character that I enjoyed a lot. She has a lot of interesting features. And I'll be honest, even though I like Delia Blue, I was like, okay, I could I could do an Aslan Cade. <laughs> what am I doing? Now I'm cheating on Blue. Um, let's see what's going on next. Uh, in 25, Cade sees the Jedi. Uh, ha they at uh, their hidden temple. Uh, the Imperial Knights follow him, and he's kind of mad about that because he didn't realize he was being tracked. But he proposes to all of them that they should go on an assassination attempt to take out Crate. Because, I mean, that's how Cade works. Let's just take him out and be done with it. Um, and, of course, the Jedi don't, don't think assassination. They think that's of the dark side. The Imperial Knights are all for it. I love that because they kind of walk a balance of light and dark. And Sin finds the Jedi who killed his father. See, we know that Sin doesn't like Jedi. He loves Vong. Uh, uh, things because he has thud bugs. Later on, he'll get an ampistaff and everything. He knows how to speak Vong. He's very influential as Vong. And they, they mention why some Vong taught him all the ways, but they never showed that in the comic book, which I, again, a, a spinoff series with Sin, I would have loved. I would have loved. One with Blue, I would have loved, you know, just adventures of her. I mean, so many, these characters are so rich in their backgrounds. You, I just felt like I couldn't get enough of them. Anyway, in the next issue, issue 26, of course, he goes after um, the guy, the Jedi that attacked his father. But in reality, the Jedi just reminds him when he, when they, it shows a flashback of the Jedi killing his father. His father was one of Rav's pirates. His father was not that good of a guy. And he snuck upon the Jedi to kill him. And of course, the Jedi killed him first. And, you know, he kind of reminds Sin, he's like, look, you're, you're looking through at your uh, father through rose-colored glasses. That's not who he was. And so Sin decides to just give up on killing. He tries to kill the Jedi with a bunch of uh, Vong uh, uh, weapons, but of course he, he, he stopped. Now, could Sin have killed him? Probably not. I would say probably not, but Sin would have gotten close. Um, anyway, uh, it, all, oh, it also shows how it was that Jedi who cut off Rav's leg. Rav was the pirate. And Rav is walking around with a mechanical leg. Well, in this flashback, that's why. Because the Jedi sliced off half of his leg as Sin was getting away. I was like, oh, wow. They didn't even have to make that connection. But they decided to go ahead and tell the story of how Sin lost his leg, too, in that flashback. And I loved it. Um, and then, of course, Cade uh, embarks on the mission to kill Darth Krayt. Because, you know, he's once at mind. But the Jedi agree. The Jedi agree. Maybe, maybe this will work. Uh, so in issue... 27, um, Warlock, 
goes on a mission to find a cure for Crate and kills the reincarnated Darth Andidu, and and don't care how you pronounce his name. Uh, there's a lot of Sith that are shown in the past. There's a Sith from the Knights of the Old Republic game, which I never knew. Uh, they they reincarnate. Uh, the ghost of Darth Bane is talking to Darth Krayt too. They all think Darth Krayt is a pretender to the throne, like he is not a true Sith. And so as Darth Warlock, and by the way, we find out there's several Darth Warlocks. There's been a generation of Darth Warlocks. You're like, wait a minute, was this the dark, same Darth Warlock from 100 years ago who, you know, was speaking to Alma Ra or whatever? No, there's several uh, Darth Warlocks. It's just a generation of them because these are like homegrown Sith on Korriban. You know, they grew up there and they started off Sith. They have, there are a lot of red people, red faces with black marks on it. But uh, again, it's like a Darth Warlock story and it's really good. It's really, again, has nothing to do with the main story or any of the characters we've talked about so far, yet I love it. I should also mention another Imperial Knight I love, Draco. I, they, they could have another whole spinoff series on Draco, and I would gladly read it. I mean, from top to bottom, great characters, great storyline, and finally, the crossover, which we'll talk about next time.